Whilst we're all gardening at home, not easy to get to garden centres, here are a few great hints and tips on how you can use items that you normally put in the bin but instead upcycle them to use in your garden. And that's everything from plastic bottles to yoghurt cartons, milk cartons or even containers that you had your food in. All of these can be cleaned up and reused, upcycled in your garden. Here are my top 10 favourite hacks. First one is taking this old water bottle and turning it into a watering can. Perfect for your houseplants. And it's so easy. All you need is a bodger. There's many different versions of this. They are the safest way to put holes in items. I hasten to add rather than use sharp knives. Get yourself a solid surface and then just botch a few holes into the top. It's as simple as that. Nice easy holes, they don't have to be perfect. Then add some water. Put the top back on and you've now made yourself a perfect mini watering can. Now for those of you who like planting up hanging baskets and they're great fun to do and they look marvellous outside the house. The only problem is sometimes it's very very difficult to properly water it all the way through and if it dries out over the weekend some of the plants will die. Sometimes of course when they have dried and you try to re-wet them what happens is the water just sort of like just hits the surface and comes off at the sides. Here's a tip, get hold of a bottle. There are many different sizes and it's really in relation to the size of the hanging basket you've got. And I spike a load of holes all the way around the outside. Just small holes, enough for water to gently seep out. And then I actually plant that in the hanging basket. Now you may want to do more than one if you wish. Some people plant it in the center. I plant mine to the side so I can just reach up and put the hose pipe in so it waters all the way through. So I water the basket and I fill the bottle too and it really gives the water right into the heart of the hanging basket. Now if you're growing things like peas that need a little bit of early protection for maybe some cold mornings or even the pigeons that are hungry and coming down, they do that on my peas. So here's how to create your own mini cloches from water bottles. So first of all, I make a small hole. It enables me to get the scissors in. Scissors go in like that and then I just cut all the way around the outside of the container. It's as simple as that. I then take off the top. And there I have it. A perfect mini cloche. So my little peas are in there, protected from that early morning frost, but in addition to that, protected from those pesky pigeons. So save up your water bottles and use them as little cloches. Now, if you like growing tomatoes or any other plants that require a little bit of support from a bamboo cane, there is always that danger that you bend over and catch the bamboo cane right in the eye. Here's a good tip. Save up these little, what are they, yoghurt cartons, I suppose. Save up those containers and put them on the top. It's a perfect warning sign that if you bend down, you'll easily see it. And if it does catch you, it's a lot better than having a sharp cane. So save them up. Here's a solution to a gardening conundrum. You end up buying seeds. You only use a few out of the packet, so you, you have lots of them left over. And sometimes you want to save them up for next year. So you, you fold the packet up and you put it in the greenhouse or along the side or whatever. Problem is, is you have a tendency if they're let out through condensation or damp to end up getting soggy and not protected. So here's what I use. These old plastic mint boxes, look at that. They're absolutely perfect. Take the top off, fold your seeds in, place them into the box themselves. It protects them from the elements, keeps them safe rather than a bit of paper. You can leave it with the name of the plant along the side or just write in felt tip there. They work a treat. Now, if you've got bigger seed packets than this for beans and the like, fortunately, they do bigger boxes. And if you've got even bigger, you can get even bigger boxes. So don't throw them away. Use these to protect your seeds. I've got a great use for these here. Milk cartons, various different sizes. Let's just take the label off. You can turn this into something that'll help you save time in the garden. First of all, I just spot a little hole, which enables me to get the scissors in. And I put the scissors in. I then cut 
all the way around the bottom, keeping hold of the handle and cut back up towards the handle like that. I then cut across the top like that and take this part off. I've now got an excellent compost scoop, enabling me to fill up my containers really quickly. You've got a dog, it's a pooper scooper. You've got a boat, it's a baler. Don't waste it, reuse it. Now, you also end up with these food containers that are pretty good to be reused or upcycled in the garden. Uh, this one happens to have strawberries in, but you can use the microwavable containers once you've cleaned them up. But if they haven't got drainage holes, just spike some holes in there too. What I do is add my little seed compost in them. Lovely little seed trays these make. Level that out like that. Ideal for then sowing over the top and making sure that this, rather than go in the recycle bin, ends up going in the greenhouse. Now, for those of you who feed the birds in the garden, you can transform a normal bottle into a bird feeding unit. All you need is the bottle itself, the bird food, and a couple of old wooden spoons. My aim is to fill this with bird seed, but I want a little perch for the birds to land on and a little feeding station. So I'm gonna use the spoon itself. I'm gonna make a hole in here and out the other side and actually push the spoon all the way through. So birds can perch at this end and the seed will fall out into the actual spoon itself, enabling them to eat from it. And as they eat from it, natural force of gravity, a little bit more seed will fall out onto it. And of course, as they land on it, that juddering will force the seed out too. Here goes. First off, I take the top off and I'm going to make a hole in here and one at the other side. And I'm now just going to widen that hole by using the drill. simply by getting a bit of paper, rolling it into a funnel. Makes it ideal to put the bird seed in. And then, with a little bit of string at the top, hang that up into your trees. Birds can perch, feed, and more food falls through as they land and judder it, or as they eat it. Now a plastic bottle and bamboo canes are all the ingredients you need to make a little nesting area for solitary bees in your garden. First of all, mark off equal distances all the way down the bamboo cane and cut it off. So all of them end up at the same size. Once you've done that, and you have plenty of them, all you need to do is to make the cuts around the bottle here to take the top off and to take the bottom off. Make a little hole, pairs this is in, cut the bottom off. Make a little hole, Put the scissors in, cut the top off, and then take all of your bamboo canes and fill the whole plastic bottle till it looks like this. Then, with a drill, different size drill bits, just drill out the pith in between the bamboo canes. Now, you've got a lot of little holes there, a little bit of string and hang that up in your garden. And the little solitary bees will go in there and make a small nest. And then as the mother comes out, she seals the end of that so you know you've got baby bees. A bit of plastic, bamboo canes, will help the bee population in your garden. Now here's a good tip. If you're about to sow your seeds, 
you get them in these little packets and they're, they're not that easy to sew, you know, because the packets aren't as stable. For small seeds like this, this is lettuce seed, what I normally do is get hold of a milk carton's top. I then sprinkle the seeds from the packet into the top, as you can see them just there. Because I feel that I have more control in sewing by using this finger here, just lightly tapping the side of the container. Look at that. And I find that easier to control than messing about with the packet. So just use the top lid of your milk bottles just to help you get more of an even sew and doing your seeds. So there you have it. From safety to birds to bees to seeds and watering too. All using recycled items that would normally just get thrown into your recycled bin. But instead you can upcycle them and use them in your garden.